everyone and welcome back to Res 2016. I am here with Super Dungeon Bros, which is actually a game that me and Squish played last year at Eurogamer. Yep. We, we didn't do very well, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we, um, we managed to complete the first level yep. that you had on show. Yeah. Um, we I believe we talked to you last year, so is there anything sort of new you've added since that time last year? Uh, well, this time we're actually showing the full game, so you can actually try and get for all five levels before oh, facing okay. the boss. Um, so far, no one's got the second level, so <laughs> okay. um, it's quite a challenge. <laughs> um, uh, so we're showing, and we're showing all three worlds or weapons. So we're basically showing everyone what the full game will be when it comes right. out. That's brilliant. Then um, I remember when we were last playing, I was. There was a few weapons to choose from because I remember I had like a, a kind of yeah. stick thing and a switch had a sword. Yeah. So is there more weaponry to choose from as well? Or is well, in total, the game will have 16 weapons over four classes. Right. So you have the sword, the crossbow, the wand, and the hammer. I almost got it. Right. <laughs> uh, there'll be four weapons in each of those classes and all have different abilities and different ways of playing. So right. they all have different things to do, basically. All right. That's great. So um, you said it's five levels and then a boss. So yes. Is there a mini boss at the end of each level? At the end of the second and fourth levels, there is a mini boss you have to fight. And right. that is in all three worlds as well. And what happens when you die? Do you go right back to the start? Uh, you'll, what you have is we have uh, team lives. So right. uh, if someone runs out of health, uh, what you can do is you have 10 seconds to revive that other person. Right. If you don't make it, then they can use a life in order to, to revive themselves. Right. If you run out of lives, then you can't revive yourself. And uh, if the countdown gets to zero, that means you're out completely. Right, okay. And you keep going until everyone, um, until you run out of lives and reach yep. to the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you run out of lives, yep, that's it. It's game over. And then you have to start right back at the beginning. All right. So um, since, as you say, no one's got past level two, <laughs> it's a... a big reward when you get to the final boss and you uh the, what we have is uh, we have some roguelike elements so you collect shards so you can actually unlock the additional weapons and additional right. skins and that in this version we have actually a f um, the full set unlocked right. and the actual when you start the game uh, from the beginning you only start with two weapons right. one from um, a crossbow and a sword right. and then so you have to build yourself up in order to constantly get more and more alright that's good so I'm just guessing as well are the weapons more powerful as you uh, your up, they're more powerful they powerful. have more special abilities as well. Uh, for instance, the Light Forge Hammer uh, actually lets you heal people instead of just um, hurting enemies as well, yeah. which is really good to use. Mm -hmm. um, and that's quite a high level up to get. Right. Uh, and you've got uh, the Reign of Misery, which is a uh, sort of like a fencing sword, which is super fast, right. but does minimal damage. So that's quite good if you just want to dart in and out. Yeah. So there's different kinds you can choose from. Nice. Right. That's good. And, and since it's obviously four players, mm -hmm. is there parts in the game where you actually do need to work yes. as a team in order to move on? Yeah. Yeah, you will have instances, what you can actually do in the games, can actually pick each other up and throw each other as well. Right. Um, so there are instances where you have to pick up your friends, throw them onto a ledge, and then uh, switch a switch in order to do something. That's an example, right. one of the puzzles. Um, it's all about teamwork, the game. So even defeating enemies, you actually need to work together in order to do that as well. All right. That's brilliant then. So um, just to close off videos then, if you'd like to see the people who are looking into getting Super Dungeon Bros. Uh, yeah, well, Super Dungeon Bros is coming out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Windows 10, and PC soon when it launches this summer and uh, it's going to be fantastic. Right, that's really nice. That's been very nice. All right, thank you. Cheers. Cheers.